Hey, what's up, YouTube? So I thought I'd show you guys um, a little snippet about uh, how important it is to have a, a really high precision soldering iron for uh, radio control vehicles. Um, this here is this main board that you're looking at is actually the main board right out of the E-Flight MQX. And it's an awesome quad rotor, but one of the problems is that this whole board contains the gyro, it, it has the... Um, the uh, receiver built in as well as a gyro it has everything included including the ESC's on one board one of the problems is this little black chip here it's about the size of a grain of rice little surface mount device is uh, one of the ESC's for the brushed motors you'll see that it connects over here to this white motor plug by the traces on the board now, this part blew up on me in flight. Uh, I'm not quite sure why, but it, it's it's toast. There's nothing I can do about this particular part except for remove it or replace it. Now, because this board soldered, one of my choices would be replacing the entire board, but look at that, that's 50 bucks. That's kind of a ridiculous amount to spend to replace a part that retails for, um, let's see, where is it, right there. It retails for about three cents. Uh, very 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 cheap part but luckily I've even got another burnt out board from an MQX but you'll notice that this component is exactly the same as this component and the one in the other burnt board actually is not at all damaged so how am I gonna replace that piece to fit in where the damaged one was without uh, damaging anything else. Well, if I use a regular soldering iron tip, let me guys show you for size comparison how big a regular soldering tip is compared to that part. That's pretty big. Um, that would cover, it covers the entire, the entire piece. There's no way that I'd be able to get a precise job done if I was using a standard soldering iron. So the other thing that I could use is what I actually have attached now to my solder station is a hot air reflow gun. Basically this shoots really hot air and we can use it to melt and reflow the solder on that little chip. That's actually how, that's one of the ways that they put SMDs in uh, from the factory in the first place. So I'm going to show you guys how to run through that really quick. So the first thing we, that we need to do is we need to set our unit. The kind I've got is an Xtronic Model 9000. What we're going to do is we're going to use a about a 1 16th inch tip, or a 1 8th rather, inch tip on the hot air gun. And we're going to turn it to 800F. Turn the suction on, turn the hot air and the solder switch on. Rack it up so it knows we're starting. And now it's going to climb uh, all the way up to 800 degrees but we need to turn our airflow down because if it's too fast all we're going to do is blow all the chips right off the board so we're going to turn this back really pretty close to one okay and i'm sure this next step seems complex and involved technically but actually it's not we're just going to find the damaged piece and what we're going to do, I'm going to snake the hot air hose over the other way. We're just going to heat the piece up with the hot air. And when it gets hot enough, we can just push it right off. And there it goes. Very, very simple. Now you'll see that there are three little pads where it attached. We need to get the new version of this piece, this little black chip with the three metal pads. We need them to line up with the place the other pads were. So I'm going to desolder it from the other board and I'm going to show you guys what to do next. Alright folks, so here is our fresh uh, working MOSFET and I'm going to manipulate that right back into this position 
Uh, it's gonna be pretty easy to do because I know that the um, top pin here goes in the single pin pad and vice versa for the two pins. I believe the single pin is the uh, base and the other two are the collector and emitter. Don't quote me on that. I don't know much about how this circuit works. I just do know how to recognize a few of the components. So what I'm using to get at this is my little vacuum pickup tool. Basically it connects to the vacuum hose on my soldering station and I can pick stuff up with it as long as I've got my finger over this little vent hole here. So what's awesome about this is it's gonna allow me to very, very precisely position uh, our MOSFET. So I'm gonna get that in place. Pardon my hands being in the way. I'm just trying to do a good job placing this thing. So here we are, we've got it pretty much in the right place. Now there's only one thing left to do. The solder has not flown, flowed back into position yet. So we do need one final step. All right, folks, so the last thing that we need to do is we need to solder this board in place properly. And in case you've forgotten uh, where this MOSFET is that we're gonna be soldering, it's that little guy right there. And the way that we solder it back on is basically exactly the same way we took it off with the hot air gun. But this time we're going to need to hold it down so it doesn't fly anywhere. All right. That's in place. That's not going anywhere. And there's our Franken board. I think that just about does the trick. All that's left to do now is put it in the MQX and see if it powers up. All right, so here's the board after I installed it into an MQX. See if she works. All right, victory. I just saved myself 50 bucks. Nice. If you like this video, guys, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe.